Hey guys, today I have a short but super useful video for you about staying organized with your Final Cut Pro libraries. I'm a big stickler for keeping my media organized because in our office, we share projects among each other. And also we often have really long-term relationships with our clients. So I might need to pull a shot from, let's say a shoot from six months ago, or even like tweak a finished video from like a year ago. So it's really important for me that I know where all of my media is for every single project and every single client. And for that reason, my preferred setting when I'm importing media into my libraries is to store the media in the library, which is why when I see this folder on one of my hard drives, it strikes ice into my heart. When you see this folder on one of your hard drives, it means that you have not in fact imported your media into your library. You've actually changed the setting somehow to store it in an external folder. Now, some people do like to work this way, but for me, I don't like that. I like everything in the library. So there's a really quick and easy fix for this problem. Let me first get a little bit deeper into what's actually going on here. Here is my Final Cut library. Now, if I right click and show package contents, I get a lot of these little folders here that make up my bundle. I'm gonna select this one here and you can see when I open up the original media folder, I have all of my clips, but I've got this weird little black arrow. What this black arrow indicates is that these files are not actually living in my Final Cut bundle. They are referencing media somewhere else. In this case, it is in that pesky little Final Cut original media folder. And if I pop this open, sure enough, there are all the actual clips with no little reference arrows. So they are living outside of my library. So the secret to getting all of this external media to now live in my library isn't to like re-import it. It's actually really simple. What you want to do is consolidate the media. So you can do this in a few different ways. If I want to consolidate all of the media in this library, I could just make sure I'm selected on the actual library in my sidebar, head on up to file, and select consolidate library media. Then I get this pop-up window where I can choose where I want this video to live. And so I'm going to select instead of my external drive that I have here, I can select in library. I can then choose to include the original media, include the optimized media and include the proxy media. Now, if you don't know what those two terms mean, you definitely need to know about it. If you don't, I'm going to link to a video for you up here and down in the description box. That's gonna explain all of it for you. Now, if I haven't created optimized or proxy media and I choose to check these two boxes and hit okay, it'll ask me if I want to transcode that media just for the purposes of demonstration. I'm going to cancel this entire action because there's some other things I wanna show you. You can select an entire event, head on up to file, and this time it's consolidate event media. That means that I'm only bringing in the media that's sorted in this event into my library even further. I can select individual clips in the browser, head on up to file, and this time I can consolidate clip media. That means just these three clips are going to be consolidated into my library and everything else is going to stay in that external folder. I don't really know when you would want to do that. That seems like a very specific choice. I kind of am in the mindset that most people are either going to want all their media in the library or all of their media outside the library. And then the last thing to know is that you can actually select a project in your browser, head on up to file and consolidate project media. That means that only the clips from that project will be brought into the library and everything else will stay outside. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to go back to the library level and I'm going to go to file and consolidate library media and I don't have optimized or proxy media on this project. So I'm gonna disable those and hit okay. Now, if we look at our background tasks monitor, it is consolidating my library media here and I get this progress bar. Guys, while I'm waiting for Final Cut to consolidate this media, you know what to do. Do that YouTube thing, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell if you feel like you're learning something. Now that we've finished consolidating our media, let's take a look at what that library looks like now. I'm going to right click to show package contents once again. I'm gonna open up our original media folder and now we can actually preview the clips and those little arrows are gone. Now, if we go back to our Final Cut original media folder, 
everything is still in there. So now we have duplicates of our media and it's safe to delete that folder to save storage space. Now, sometimes you get into a situation if you've been storing your media externally and keeping it in the library isn't even an option in your import window. Let me show you how to fix that. You want to make sure you're selected on your library and head on over to the inspector window and under storage locations, select modify settings. Now on the media option, switch to in library and hit OK. And when you open up that import window, the copy to library option is there. But what if you wanted to go in the opposite direction and you wanted to take the media that was living in your library and push it to an external folder? You can do that as well. So I'm going to again be selected on the library level, head on over to file and go back to consolidate library media. This time under the media destination, I could create a new folder. And again, I have the option to just include the original media or create optimized in proxy media. I'm going to hit OK here. And now with no processing time, I've got a new folder that says golf video. And then when I open that, there is that Final Cut original media folder. And then inside are all of my clips. So maybe you want to go in the opposite direction. Let's say if you're keeping all of your files in one repository for a specific client, or maybe the client has asked you for the raw media and that's fine, but you don't want to give up your working file, like your actual Final Cut package. That could be a situation too, or this might come in handy. So you guys, I hope this clarified for you how to consolidate your media into your library or take it out of your library if you don't want it in there. If you guys like this video, let me know. I picked out some other videos I know you're going to love and I will see you again.